Hello everybody, welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today I want to go over the latest introduction of the new building regulations part S, which relates to electric vehicle charge point installations. So for those of you who don't know, the building regulations are issued by the government in the United Kingdom to regulate the construction industry. There's a whole host of documents which relate to things like plumbing, electrics, construction in general, ventilation, energy saving and a whole bunch of other topics. However, today we're going to focus on the new document part S which relates to electric vehicle charge point installations. Now the document's quite extensive and it's worth reading if you're in the industry but I just want to provide a summary of a few key aspects. Now this building regulations document is very different to BS7671 which details the requirements of electric vehicle charge point installations. So that details all the circuits, protective devices that must be used and all the electrical requirements it must meet. The building regulations differs in the fact it details where EV charge points must be installed and what minimum requirements they must meet. So the first major change is the fact that all new residential buildings must have electric vehicle charge point installed if they have a parking space. Now there are a few small exemptions and caveats to that. If it's a listed building for example then it's not necessarily required or may be exempt. Also if you can prove that there's a much larger fee for the electrical connection to the grid because of the electric vehicle charge point to the tune of £3,600 additional cost then it also may be exempt but this is on top of the connection fee if the electric vehicle charge point wasn't there now based on the experience of electrical connections to the grid this is very unlikely apart from in exceptional circumstances again if you want to know the details make sure you check out part S of the building regulations which can be downloaded from the government website. However, if you're involved in any kind of new build at all, you can take it that an electric vehicle charge point must be installed. In the other instances where the caveats are in place and you are exempt, you still need to install the cabling and other infrastructure for the electric vehicle charge point so it can be upgraded in the future if required. New dwellings also includes buildings which are undergoing conversion, including barn conversions, etc. So I do want to make a comment that I think this is excellent news. It's excellent news for our industry and it's excellent news for future proving houses. There are a lot of new builds that have gone up in the last three to five years that have no provisions for electric vehicle charge points and it makes it very difficult to install EV charge points at those homes and the burden of cost will always be on the current owner. This does make moving to electric vehicles much more difficult for existing homes. So this ensures that all new builds are future proofed. The next major takeaway is that all residential buildings un undergoing major renovation which have more than 10 parking spaces, so this does apply to flats and apartment blocks, after the renovation is complete need to have at least one EV charge point for each dwelling with all the other associated parking spaces having cable routes to those spaces so they could be upgraded in the future. So again, excellent news. This means that each apartment or flat will have at least one EV charge point associated with that dwelling. Now, if a new building's going up that has more than 10 dwellings and 10 parking spaces, there's a whole bunch of other regulations. This can be done on a case by case basis. 
In this kind of scenario, the best option is talk to your local building control officer and understand the requirements because it does get a little bit complicated. However, it's safe to say that again, you're gonna need a whole bunch of charge points installed if you're renovating or building large apartment blocks with lots of dwellings and lots of parking spaces, whether they're associated to a particular dwelling or the parking spaces are communal. So, whether people like it or not, there are massive changes coming with electric vehicle charging infrastructure for new dwellings, renovations and conversions. If you are involved in one of these projects, make sure you understand the new requirements and then you can always get in touch with people like ourselves and we can give you some guidance on what solutions are best for your particular project. And it really is worth working with electric vehicle charging specialists like ourselves to understand what's possible. And we can provide advice on solutions that include security to prevent unauthorized access and use of the charge points and billing systems where the charge points are communal. We can also make use of significant discounts that we get from purchasing charge points on a daily basis. And we can provide the knowledge that is required to meet the technical requirements of electric vehicle charge point installations to make sure they're safe and meet the end user's needs. We're gonna have some more videos coming up which showcase what we've been doing to work with developers on large scale construction projects. So make sure you like and subscribe to get notifications of our future videos. Check us out on our other social media. Give us a cheeky thumbs up if you like the video. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching.